they're sleeping upstairs. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to them wrestling guys, and we're back again with another 60 second squash for real this time. Yes, for real this time. For real this time. So let's get to it, Matt. What's the first topic? Oh, we could possibly be getting a Stone Cold podcast reboot on the WWE Network, which, thank God, I enjoyed it. Hard hitting questions. Uh, definitely covered uh, stuff I didn't think they'd ever do. Like AJ Styles, he talked about his TNA days, which kind of caught me off guard. And um, no, but I, it's it's as I guess as real as you can get as far as stuff they air on TV. This, the questions they ask, the topics they get into, stuff that they would never cover back then during the days of kayfabe. But so I'm excited if it if it happens. If it happens, Stone Cold can literally do whatever he wants, and he can't do anything wrong. His show that he just did on USA Network, proof of that. That show was awesome. I loved it. I hope they keep doing that, too. But, yeah, I can't wait for the podcast to come back. Uh, that would be really awesome. Uh, we're going to talk about Jordan Miles. NXT breakout star, I guess if you want to call him. He just won the... Uh, tournament not too long ago now there's for those who don't know there's been a lot of issues regarding a shirt they made for him and apparently it's been he's labeled it as racial Jesus. profiling because it's his name in white with pretty much like a, the lips it looks like a big mouth and his his name are the teeth and a, on a black shirt on a black shirt um honestly he was saying apparently he apologized in a Twitter uh, rant, saying he his he was absolutely unprofessional, and then he said he'd like to take the time to apologize for not giving a shit. I don't know if I if I have the quote down correctly, but apologizing for not giving a shit of what people think about him, and he basically went into a CM Punk rant. No, the 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 big debate is. Um, did WWE, who says that they do it with all their stars, did they get approval from him for the t-shirt? They say they did. He says they didn't. Who do you believe? You guys let us know. Who do you believe? Um, I, I tend to believe that um, maybe they showed him a concept that maybe didn't look exactly like that. I don't know if they changed it up on him that, that dr dramatically, but, like, ugh, I don't know, man. I, I have a hard time believing that in this day and age um, that WWE is just going to be blatantly racist um, on purpose. I don't think, if they did, if it's that, then I, I don't think they did it on purpose. They, it might be an accident. Like, I don't know. Maybe he didn't know it was racist until somebody said it was racist. I don't know. The whole story, but I know that it's it's just like it's not something that is good for WWE dealing with AEW. So if he's that pissed off, then they can just have him start a nation of domination, <laughs> <laughs> or a new day, or a new day. Um, last topic. We're gonna keep this one short. Last topic. Women's Revolution keeps pushing forward after it started years ago. And now we are going to get the first ever women's war games match for TakeOver, which I'm pumped for. Um, I don't know if some people are like, oh, women in the match. But it's like, the it's NXT not women. Good. And the NXT women are, are probably, besides like, barring three or four women on the main roster, are the most talented women in the world. Yeah. I think a lot of them are talented. And we've said before, when they get to the main roster, their matches get watered down. And mm -hmm. they don't get to display some of the stuff they do in NXT. Charlotte, I feel like, gets creative control in some of her matches. Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks. Uh, Bailey's watered down. Becky Lynch is kind of watered down. Ember Moon. Amber, Ember Moon is way watered down. Um, like, all these people were... Um, Asuka is another one. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it's... I mean, it is what it is, but... Um, it's NXT, though. It's NXT. So, it could be, could be an amazing match. The only thing that's been confirmed is... Shayna Baszler and Rhea Ripley as, you, as as the captains, but so you know you're gonna get they, Duke and Shafir. They pretty much teased the the matchup because they drew the lines with the security guards on NXT last night, and it was Shayna, uh, <clears throat> Mia, uh, Jessamine, 
Bianca Belair and Io, and yeah, then that's a nice team. and then in the ring you had Candace. Rhea, Candice, Tegan Knox, Dakota Kai. So if you're doing five on five, then obviously you got one more woman who's who's got to step in there. There's plenty of other women that can step in, even if they got grab somebody from UK, like Rhea grab like Tony Storm. Or is she currently a heel? I can't remember. No, I think she's still a face. Yeah, so she you, just I mean, you could grab title. Tony Storm, you know? That could be a good one to grab. But yeah, it could it could be amazing. And uh, speaking like women uh, today, actually, currently, I think on right now, as we're doing this, is uh, the first ever women's match in Saudi Arabia. So, good job to Natalia and... Uh, Lacey Evans. I, I, I want to say Renee Young, but Lacey Evans, ex-Marine Corps. Um, so uh, I guess it's kind of fitting that she would be the one to do this um, with Natalia, who's probably the longest tenured woman in WWE at this point. If I'm wrong, let me know. I don't think I am. It's. I mean... I think it's pretty accurate. I wouldn't even include Alicia Fox right now because she's Alicia on Fox, TV. Uh, first of all, Alicia Fox was on the Legends show as a legend, so she is no longer... No longer currently on the active roster. And think. you have Mickey James, although she did take a Mickey break. Mickey James is doing from commentary. WWE. Actually, no, I will say Mickey James, though, because Mickey James, it's not like she retired. She, She's doing she kept, she, but No, but I meant longest tenure. She kept wrestling for all that time. She just happened to come back to WWE. And I think she's doing rest or commentating right now because she had just gotten off of injury. Okay, so Natalia's the longest tenured currently wrestling person in the WWE at this moment. To revise my statement. Speaking of, uh, I know this is 60 second squash and we're, we only had three topics. So let's talk about one more thing. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. Cain Velasquez on today's pay-per-view. Let's talk about that because we watched Cain Velasquez and Brock Lesnar. It was the first match. It started the pay-per-view, so that sets the tone for the pay-per-view. So they say if you want to do the pay-per-view, if, if you want to set a tone for your pay-per-view, the first match has got to be great. you got to put your best foot forward. So you got these two big stars clashing. So you got to think like, okay, this is going to be great. And then five minutes later, Cain Velasquez taps out to a Kimura lock. The whole thing looked more like an MMA fight than an actual wrestling match. N not rest, like, you know what I'm saying? Per sports entertainment match is what I'm trying to get at. Um, it's not something that anybody wanted to see. That I, I, I don't think anybody wanted to see. We got it anyways, and it was trash. It was garbage, just like I thought it was going to be. And then... <laughs> You know, it was. Let me know what you thought about it. I thought it was garbage. I'm not at it anymore because that's exactly what it was. It's not even worth spending more time talking about it because it was so terrible. It was so terrible. Pointless. It was a pointless thing. A pointless build up. Everything about it was pointless. It was the same thing with Tyson Fury and Strowman. It was pointless. Fury punches him on the apron and. Strowman goes down and then doesn't get back up for the 10 count. So 10 count. Come on, bro. You know, let Tyson Fury win, but now let Strowman get actually pinned or submitted, but still. Yeah, but he Strowman still looks weak. weak. He looks weak. He's a 385 or 485. 385 pound weakling. That's what he looks like. A little baby duckling. But it's okay, guys, because guess what? The most amazing thing happened. Mansoor won. I didn't see that coming. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. He had such a big pop. They gave him an awesome interview after his match. His interview was, lasted longer than Lesnar and la it, it did, for real. Like, oh my god, I get it. You're from here. When's the next time you're going to wrestle? Crown Jewel 4. Yeah, we'll see you, we'll see you in Saudi Arabia see next you year. here, bro. Good job getting over in your hometown. I think anybody can do that. But on to our last topic. Okay. We yeah. said we would do this in yesterday's video. This video, if you want to enter to win this, all you have to do is comment below and just say one person you would like to see come to WWE. It doesn't matter if it's Impact, AEW, New Japan Pro Wrestling. NWA, From any! Ring of Honor, just anywhere in the world. Any promotion that you can think of. 
That includes small promotions, local promotions. If you put some local guy, you better tell us who the fuck he is. Because I don't know everybody. <laughs> Hence the reason why I said any promotion. Sean yes. just wanted to repeat what was already said. I wanted to do it with more flair. Woo! Which we got Hogan and Flair coming up later. And Hogan, uh, I think he's a little afraid. Because Flair said he's cleared by doctors and he's going to beat up Hogan. But he's not the man anymore. He's not the man. Becky Lynch is the man. Just kidding. I don't think, I don't really think that. <laughs> Yes, you do. Ric Flair is yes, the man. Yes, you do. Ric Flair is the man. We're going to end it here. Uh, make sure you enter the contest. Keep subscribing. we got seven more people for a big, big giveaway. It's going to be filled with all kinds of stuff. Um, like, you won't even believe what's going to be in this box. So you need to get into that. Get in on that. Um, it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be glorious. And if you want to enter... Go ahead and do it, and then we'll put you on the list. Yes. But there's all your other people that made the list, so. All right? Go have yourself a little bit of the bubbly.